So this is an uh, old uh, train tracks, and it's only used uh, for the train which is going to the train museum. Ah, yes. And yes, if yes. you go uh, beyond the train muse uh, museum, mm -hmm. uh, is the Oosterspoorbaan, which we've cycled on the yes. old railway tracks, transformed into a park. Right. With, yes. Uh, walking and cycling. Yes, we did that a couple years ago. Yes. That's right. And another beautiful neighborhood, a nice, comfortable access street. Yes, cars are allowed here, but the context with the bricks sends the message that this is a slow space. We've got a little cycle hoop type bike like container formal, rent, yeah. or a storage container there. Being able to get the, some of the bikes under undercover, locked up. Oh, and here you can see on the right some parking place removed and replaced by bike parking. Yes, yeah, exactly. You can have one car or you can, you have, can have 20 have bikes. bikes yeah. <laughs> Serve one person yeah. or 20 or more people. I know which numbers I prefer. <laughs> yes. So we're again at the edge of the city, but now the eastern eastern edge. Okay. Back there you can see the building of the province of Utrecht, mm -hmm. and behind it is the University uh, uh, of Utrecht. Mm -hmm. And then you go to the build to Zeist. So, right. Uh, yeah, that's the end of Utrecht on that side. Yeah, very nice. And then again, you can see if mm -hmm. Utrecht starts there, mm -hmm. you can see in one straight line to the city center. Right. So yeah. it's very compact. Boom. Let's wait for those uh, AFIT cyclists. Okay. <laughs> yeah, looks like they're coming in off of the mountain biking trails. Yeah. Now you can see the car just mm -hmm. waiting. Yep. Very nice. Yeah. Let's go left here. Okay. Impatient driver. Yes. She wasn't impatient with us. It was the cyclist behind cyclists, us. Yeah. But still, chill out, lady. Could be he was running red, but. Well, he could be, but yeah. still, chill out. Slow down. Life is too short to be in that kind of hurry. Yeah. <laughs> Again, attention. Oh, oh, oh well, just yeah. wait and go back a little. Okay, here. Okay, we found something else we want to talk about here. All right. So where are we standing here? Yeah. At the Maliban. And mm -hmm. as you can see on the sign there, mm -hmm. uh, this is the first uh, bike lane of the Netherlands. Ah, okay. So, in, back in 1885. Okay. But it was not for these kind of bikes, but right. for the... Yeah, yeah. Velocipede. Yeah, yeah. So it was more like uh, an elite thing. But right, right. This was the spot of the first uh, right. bike lane of the Netherlands. Yeah, the Netherlands. Yeah. It's in here. And well done, through the trees. Very nice. They had probably just planted the trees at that point. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> or different trees. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, good, and uh, good in, catch. A, in a couple of years, there, I think they're going to redesign this road here. Mm -hmm. So, what you see now, there is a, a road in the middle. Yeah. And then there's a, a walking path on both sides mm -hmm. and a secondary road. Yeah. And they're going to replace 
uh, the road in the middle okay. uh, by uh, just walking, cycling, okay. uh, public space, joint public space. Right. And then cars are only allowed uh, at the uh, side roads. Right. So and very, very slow. Very slow, yeah. uh, as you will see uh, yeah. when we're cycling here. And so it will be uh, much more space for active travel, slow travel, right. playing, walking, cycling, yeah. uh, all that. Yeah. So. And, we can, and well, we can see here too, this roundabout isn't necessarily the, the perfect design of, of a roundabout. You know, there's, there's better designs that are safer designs for people walking and biking in the area. Um, but yeah, getting, getting the motor vehicle slowed down mm -hmm. uh, is critical to any of these designs. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant, okay. brilliant. There it is. One of the original cycling paths. The, uh, the other thing that you notice is the quality of the infrastructure, but then also the beauty. You see the beautiful flowers that are installed in, yeah. in the neighborhood. So again, that attention to detail, you, you, it sends you the message that mm -hmm. you're in a special place, yeah. a wealthy place. <laughs> I think everybody deserves to live in a beautiful place, yes. And there was a sign, uh, school zone, so there's a school here. Yeah. So drivers are intended to drive even slower yeah. than 30, but slow down to 15. Yeah, 15 kilometers per hour in the school yeah. zone. Very nice. And then there's art along the way. Uh, we're going to cross and go to the left. Okay. And we immediately see that we've transitioned into a very wide Fietzpad, or excuse yeah. me, uh, Fietzstraat. Fietzstraat, yes. Fietzstraat, bicycle priority street. And back there on the building is mm -hmm. the uh, oh, mural. There it, is. there it is. Yeah, we rode here t uh, two years ago. This yeah. was redesigned as a Fietzstraat. Yeah. Also the part on the other side of the yeah on the road crossing. Yeah. And you can see what's missing and that's uh, the the road crossing doesn't connect to the two parts of the Fietzstraat. So right. they're going to work on that. Okay. And here's the restaurant. So yeah. let's stop here. Perfect. All right. Yes. We are rolling. Okay. Going right. Here are the dots. Here are our dots from two years ago. We're not sure how effective they are at traffic calming, but we know the chicanes are pretty good. And we see the bus sneaking through. Nice, reasonable pace. And it's not only the chicanes they put in, but also the extra greenery, as you can see. Yes. Yeah, not only the chicanes, but it's also plenty of, of greenery, softening the space, cooling the space off. You might want to plant a few more trees. Yeah. Yeah. That's always a good idea. Yeah, yeah. it's always a good idea. A few more trees. You can see the side streets are very narrow. Access streets, they're paved in brick. Uh, let's go right here. We're heading right here, but we can see our sign from the exams. 
talked about that a couple times before. And this is the railway museum. There's the railway museum. Mark and uh, uh, Clarence visited uh, a couple of months ago. Oh, very good. Yeah. He was very happy with this visit. He yeah, was with his family. Yeah. And uh, his son, Clarence the Third, C.E. the Third, he loves trains. Ah. Well, then this is the place to be. This is the place to be. So, uh, yeah, there's the train museum. There's the start of the Oosterspoorbaan uh, track. Nice day for a float. And this is what Katie was talking about this morning. Ah, okay. The bike lane, which isn't completely optimal, but mm -hmm. it's about masses. With so many cyclists, yeah. uh, drivers have to keep calm, have to calm down. Yeah. And really, when you look at the numbers of people on bikes here, and you see that this is a very high quality treatment of red asphalt along the side here, they're using gray brick as well as the clinkers, as well as some of the white bricks are creating the lines. So that's not painted, that's actual brick. And uh, yeah, it's, it's getting to that point too, where you're like, well, if it's gonna be that much of a, a bicycle street, then why not have the whole thing be red, yeah. like the feet strut that we were on before. Um, interesting concept. It certainly feels pretty comfortable mm -hmm. when we're dominating the space the way yeah. we are right now. It'll be interesting to see what this is like when there's more motor vehicle activity. Yeah, and it's a two-way street, so mm -hmm. cars can pass each other without going on the bike lane. Mm -hmm. That could be a problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, again, motor vehicles can travel in either direction. And then, again, with all edge lane roads like this, they have to obviously figure out who goes first. Yeah, interesting application. Not really all that uncommon <laughs> because we do see edge lane roads yeah. in uh, rural and and uh, industrial settings we saw some earlier today but uh, it'll be interesting to see how well that performs over time Let's stop here for a while. This is a nice place to observe and probably in a few years you won't recognize it anymore because they're going to redesign and make it much more uh, cycling, walking. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be a, um, yeah, how do you say in English? Uh, we say knip. The, uh, the Motor traffic mm -hmm. will be uh, stopped at one point, right. so it can't go through anymore. Right, right, yeah. Uh, of course, for residents, uh, police, uh, mm -hmm. firefighters, etc. But true traffic uh, will be stopped here. Right. So this place will change in a much uh, calmer environment. Right, right. As you can see now, there's traffic coming from all directions. Right. Uh, so this is one of the places they will fix in the next 
few years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you just scan around and you realize it's a pretty complicated little spot. And, you know, we saw when we first pulled up, there was a big delivery truck that came through. And just, it, it seemed completely outsized, like, you mm -hmm. know, out of place, yeah. you know, to be here. And so, yeah, if, if we see this redesign so that you're not seeing that flow through, cut through traffic, and really only allowing local access mm -hmm. for motor vehicle drivers. And of course the stores so, uh, right there, yeah. uh, they need supplies. Yeah. So there still is need for some sort of supply. Yeah. Uh, they're doing a lot by boats. Yeah. Uh, but also by, by, by big trucks. Yeah. So that'll change, I think. Yeah. Uh, C is also working on a, a part of the inner city which in 2026 will no longer be accessible for uh, carbon combustion uh, cars. Right. So, yeah. So the number of motor vehicles are going to go down anyways. Yeah. And so. Unless yeah. they're all replaced by electric vehicles. Of yeah, course. which isn't likely in the short term no. for sure you know but make the make the transformation in your built environment to be more people oriented and if you are no longer able to use this as a cut through as motor vehicle driver yeah i mean it'll just be that much more pleasant and like i said it is a com complicated you know multi-directional yeah. uh intersection so, yeah, what a great spot to, to observe in action. And there you can see somebody cycling on the water. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. That's one of the newest, yeah, uh, newest attractions uh, in Utrecht. <laughs> Only a couple of years ago they started with uh, yeah. bike surf things. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I prefer this with no cars. Yeah, <laughs> me too. As you can see, this stretch isn't done yet. Yeah. Yeah, and because the, the motor vehicle traffic is not um, incentivized to go a different way, you know, they're here. Yeah. They come this way. But what we just rolled through there was brilliant. It wasn't necessarily all that comfortable in that one little section but they got stopped at a light, mm -hmm. and yet we had our own continuous yep. right. And now here we are on the other side of the canal, you know, in, in one of the more classic stretches yeah. <laughs> in Utrecht. I remember this one here. We're still gonna, not perfect here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's still not perfect, and you know, but it's comfortable enough, and, uh, Ironically, too, this is the street where uh, the Dutch Cycling Embassy and the Fietzersbahn yeah. are located. But their stretch is already redesigned, so... Yes. Yeah, we'll see the difference yeah. up here in a little bit, yeah. Very nice. And you can see a little bit of a transformation already, a little wider buffer. also see quite a few little boats on the canal here. Are you getting out on the water at all? Any uh, paddling? Not that much, but not that much. now and then, yeah. yeah. Yeah, 
such a joy to have water yeah. back in the canal. Yes. In what was? Well, it was a highway. In here it was always water. But yeah, right up yeah, here. Right yeah. up there. Not very far. No. <laughs> so. Yeah. The cycling embassy in Fietsersbond uh, office yep. on the left. There they are. There's the spot right there. And again, now we have a different treatment here. And again, not perfect by any but stretch of the means. Much better than it was before. Yeah, yeah. But of course, the best adjustment is on the right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And uh, because from this spot on, it was all highway. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And you remember this? You grew up with the highway there. Yes. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I grew up with the highway, and in the article for the Swiss magazine I told you about, mm -hmm. uh, I, I told the journalist I got my driving lessons on this stretch of highway here. Right, right. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is a special thing for you to now have this. Yeah, well, As my parents remember there was no highway and just water, but yeah. I, I didn't remember. Yeah, yeah, no, that's before yet, your time. Yeah. yeah, before my time. <laughs> yeah. Very yeah, nice. It's lovely now. Yeah, it's, it is lovely. Very worth a little stroll along the walking path down there, too. Let's go uh, left here yeah. on the screen. So, when we met two years ago, yep. uh, we met on the uh, station square. Yep. And then I got my bicycle from the parking. Yep. And then we went to this place here, and you did your setup here. Yep, that's right. So, let's stop here. Yeah. And see how it's changed. Because, because, it, because it has changed. It Look at has this. changed, yeah. yes. Yeah. We now. This was all concrete yeah. road. Yeah. Uh, no greenery. Yeah, massive, and massive concrete road. No greenery. Just completed. Yeah. Uh, all, but you see the transformation. Yeah, yeah. It took place here. It's now a, a, a nice place to walk or cycle, mm -hmm. uh, which it wasn't. Yeah. And again, it's it's built. Uh, it's it's designed with a little incline for. Yeah. Uh, for rainwater. Yeah, yeah. So the stormwater storm water, management. Yeah. You can see that little cut right there lines up with the cut right here. You have your stormwater. This is a rain garden. A rain garden here. So during heavy rain, you know, you'll you'll get lots and lots of of water running through all this impervious surface, and boom, filtrate filtration of the water in mm -hmm. this nice rain garden here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. No more flooded streets. Yeah. Love it. Okay, okay. sir. Uh, Take me where you will. Well, let's go to the, through the parking and then uh, to the new development okay. uh, you wanted to see. Yeah, let's go check in on that development. And I think that's important too to check in on that development in the context of starting from the uh, the train station, the mm -hmm. central train station, because yep. that's the whole point. Is that's they're the going to be they're going to be close to being able to get the train. Yeah, yeah.
Nice and cool in here. Yeah. And it's all full here. Yeah, this is all full. Because these are the bikes for people uh, who pay to uh, uh, park their bike here mm -hmm. all year. So it's okay. weekend now, they come here on Monday and take their bikes. And the yeah. upper store and down is for people who come here yeah. for a couple of hours or one day. Yeah. It's one of the other entrances. You can see people coming in and leaving. And we'll go down in the tunnel, underneath the rail lines. Yeah. Again, they could probably improve the lighting in here. This whole the tunnel is part of a project in which they want to uh, Put the water from the single mm -hmm. uh, and all the way to the canal there mm -hmm. to connect uh, those two pieces. So yeah. the tunnel will be improved then also. Yeah. And, and this whole area will be improved, but yeah. will cost a lot of time. Yeah. A lot of time, a lot of money. Yeah. Especially the. But yeah, when it comes to really creating a comfortable environment in the tunnel, I think, you know, better lighting, okay. less scary, mm -hmm. yeah. especially for young children and women. Sort of winding our way through hotels and offices, office space. A central employment area right here. You see lots of office buildings. Not a big bike parking on the other side of the station. Yeah. I believe Nothing. for four and a half thousand bikes. Okay, very good. All new development. Yeah, and a skate park right here. Like skate, yeah, skate park. Skate park. For, yeah, very good. And the white building is built as a vertical forest. Ah, okay. Vertical forest. Let's see. It's called Wonderwoods. Yeah. There we go. And residential? Residential, yes. Residential tower. Nice the little puppy dog right there. There we go. Wait. You saw that coming a mile yeah. away. <laughs> Probably going to the cinema back there. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can see some green space area over to the left. And some art installations. Big Rabobank building. Is this their headquarters, Rabobank? Uh, yeah, I believe it is. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. they sponsored the Moreelse Brug, that's a bike yeah. and walking bridge crossing yeah. the, the, all the train tracks. Right, yeah, yeah. 
I think I saw them uh, getting out for lunch the other day. Yeah, it was yeah. a constant stream of people I walking think that's into the, the city. the main reason why they sponsored the bridge, because yeah. they want their people, their employees to go lunch and walk in the city. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. So right here. There you guys. A very nice mural there yes. too. And if you look back here right, there's a pretty new mural. Okay. There it is. Nice. And this seems like a pretty new bit of infrastructure here? Well, it's, it's been redesigned. Redesigned, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, the bridge is, 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 uh, is new. It, there was a bridge, but it's mm -hmm. made new. Uh, the bike lanes here are new. Yeah. Or, or upgraded. Upgraded, yeah. 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 So there's uh, two, two bus lanes in the center. Right. And two car lanes on each side. Yeah. Yeah, and this is an important road entering or exiting the, the city. Right. On this side of the station, with all the offices, the Rabobank and the office of the municipality. And there we see the new housing development along the canal. Wow. Yes, very close. Which is all, uh, only a small part of it. Right. But we can cross here and then have a look. Yeah. So the tunnel here is fairly new, mm -hmm. which is an important upgrade for cycling because this is a this was a busy road, still is a busy road, mm -hmm. and cyclists had to wait there okay. at the traffic lights. But it's an important cycling route. So right, right. The tunnel is a is a major improvement. Yeah. In safety, in time, well, all aspect, aspects. Yeah. And here you can see the first buildings are already completed. Mm -hmm. Already uh, people living in there. And there at the back you see lots of development going on. Right. And this is a mix of social housing uh, and, and higher, higher segment, uh, pricing segment housing. Right, right. Fantastic. It's coming together. And you say some of the first residents are in yeah. at this point? Yeah. And are there going to be shops and restaurants in there too? Uh, well, we'll cycle along a, a restaurant soon. Okay. And I think there will be some. Yeah. But I think not many because on the other side there's a big uh, shopping center. Uh huh. The city center is very close by. Right. So there will be some. There'll be some, yeah. And, and it's some, still nice to have in some, the neighborhood, yeah. Yeah. Uh, parcel pickup points, things right. like that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But there's a, a larger area on the other side of the road. And then this here we go. This is all new here. And here's yeah. the restaurant. Here's the restaurant. Yeah. It was right close here. two years ago when we were. Yeah, I think you're right. Here. I think it yeah. wasn't open. Yeah. Yeah. And you can see housing is already here, right by that restaurant. Is it possible to roll through, um, go back and roll through the neighborhood? Yeah, of course, or okay. we can just have a look there and then, okay. and go, uh, and come then back. go back. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's do that. So we're going to head on down. There's uh, additional development down this way. It's not started yet, but you can see the, mm -hmm. the, the size of the new development, right. which is going to take place there. Yeah. And this is canal heading south towards Nieuwegein. Okay.
Okay. Exposure. Kebab. And yeah, more most things here now are temporary. Okay. Till the new development, and mm -hmm. I don't know if they all can come back, but some of them will. Okay. And here you can see it's pretty, pretty big. Yeah. Really extensive. You can see just barely see and the big piles. It uh, goes to the high rise there. It all okay. will be new development. Right. Yeah. Thousands. With a, a, a parking uh, of. 0.2 or 0.3. Right. So very, very, very low. Very low. Yeah. Very dense. Nice. And but again, as you can see, it will take some years. It'll take some time, yeah. That's why it'll be nice to roll through the portion that we saw earlier. Yeah. Well, that's, because that was. Uh, turn. We'll turn yeah. around now. Um, because even two years ago, that wasn't very far along. And now, yeah, now that we've switched, we've turned around, you can see the, the tall Rabobank uh, towers right there. This is all very, very close to the central station, very, very close to the center of Utrecht and the historic core. Yeah, it's a five minute bike ride from yeah. here. I mean, that's, that, that's the whole point. This is very important, is that we create housing opportunities at all different price points for mm -hmm. all different people um, you know, not forcing people to have to travel long distances, either by train or by car, being close enough to walk and bike, yeah. take a tram, take a bus. And not yeah. only to the city center, but on the other side, there's a very large uh, shopping center. Mm -hmm. There are some sport clubs, right. schools. So. You can go five minutes that way or that direction, you find whatever you need. Yeah, yeah. Sounds like you're, what you're saying is you're trying to create a five minute city. Well, Utrecht is, <laughs> is aiming on creating a 10 minute city. <laughs> yes, 10 minute city. With, in, in case we didn't have enough controversy yeah. and uh, conspiracy with the 15, with the 15 no, we just yeah. go for 10. We're just going for 10, yeah. It's, I think, six, six sort of new centers. Yeah. Uh, around the city center. <laughs> I love it, I love it. That's fantastic. And again, you can see some of the new buildings peeking through over that way. We'll roll past this restaurant Yeah, and they've again. built a little harbor around the restaurant. Okay. So it's not open yeah. yet, I think, but yeah. Oh, there's On some air boats. There's, yeah. yeah. There's a kayak in there. Yeah. Very nice. And it looks like this is an old historic smokestack mm -hmm. kind of area yeah. here. Is that uh, something that they'll kind of keep and try to repurpose? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. There's the old smokestacks. Yeah. From the energy uh, factory. Yeah. Yeah. We can have a look on that side. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we can go in. we'll see what portions are not construction zone, but since people are living, we can see that they've got their flags on their yeah. balconies, so we know that we can get in there just a little bit. Check things out. Nicely done. And you mentioned that there'll be um, some uh, social housing in there as well. Will, mm -hmm. will you be working on any of those projects? Uh, we don't know yet. Yeah, okay, we'll find out. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Uh, Very good. And this is the tunnel that we were talking about earlier, yeah. is right there. We've ridden through that before. And we go left on this side. Okay. Hey, kids are having fun jumping in the water. Very cool. Yeah, you can see the old pigs, of how, uh, how it was, how it used to be. Yeah. The industry. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
the old industry. Yeah, you uh, can see some... still moving in. Yeah. And you can see that we have very high quality two-way cycle track here connecting the residents to their parking and uh, again but if using... But we have to yeah. uh, uh, say something negative about this, mm -hmm. it's that there is a bus lane here yeah. going to the uh, center that direction and the, mm -hmm. the suburbs and other mm -hmm. cities there. Mm -hmm. And there is no stop here. Oh, okay. So you have all new development here. Yeah. But there's no bus stop. Yeah. So that's a missed opportunity. And I yeah. don't know if and how they're going to fix that. Okay. One would think that they will. They'll figure out a way so. to fix it. I wonder too, as we roll in here, I wonder too if, you know, based on what we were talking about earlier with providing indoor parking for bikes, I wonder if they've also done that here. I don't know. Yeah. On the outside, you saw the bike racks. We did, yeah. And there's yeah. a. Which is fine for some bikes, but, you know, it's, I think you need to have. I think that is, secure. This is level. Uh, yeah. So I think there's something we need here. Yeah. Let's see how far we can go. And we do see lots of cars parked in here now, but I think that it could be a function. Oh, here it is, indoor bike parking right there. Yeah. Here it is. And so again, we, we know that the overall vision for the entire development is for this to be a car light lifestyle over here. It doesn't mean that all cars are banned. We see that there's there's some. We saw at least one resident driving out, but uh, the point being is that we're looking to uh, decrease the number flooding out onto the streets. Encourage people to walk, bike, use transit. And you can see the amount of massive construction going on right here looking back towards those smokestacks, looking back towards the restaurant there. Very exciting. I can't wait to see what this looks like in five years. Yeah. Yeah. I really should come back by then. Yeah. Probably don't even have to wait that long. You guys build stuff pretty fast around here. Yeah, <laughs> Relatively always, speaking. Yeah. yeah. Well, not always, but. Yeah. Uh, let's go left. Okay. And again, one of the things that I just love about how this is being de designed and developed, you there can you see, see the, how it's going to look. Yeah, that's what it's going to look there. Is just the integration of the very, very comfortable cycling infrastructure already in place. You don't have to try to retrofit it in afterwards because you forgot about it. It's done from the get-go, from the start. Much easier to get it right the first time. Exactly. <laughs> well, what do you think? Have you uh, had a chance to roll through there before? Uh, not like we did before. Okay. I'm usually cycling there just on my way. Mm -hmm. Somewhere. Yeah. Somewhere. So, yeah. uh, Did you see anything that uh, surprised you or concerned you? Um, I was surprised by the indoor bike parking. Okay. I yeah. would have expected it, but yeah. seeing yeah. it is, is a confirmation that's great. Yeah. Well, there's still a lot of cars, but people are moving in, so I yeah. think that's normal. And the really car uh, light uh, development is taking place on that side. So okay. I think there, in the end, there will be some more cars here. Okay, got it. But it, so the it's, other it looks section, very nice with yeah. the, the, mm -hmm. the gardens between the buildings. Yeah. Uh,
but they should do something about uh, uh, public transport with, uh, for the bus. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely want to not forget that not everyone is going to feel comfortable riding, even if it's only a five-minute mm -hmm. ride. You need that public and transit. And if you too. don't facilitate them now, they say, well, I need my car. Right. Because yeah. there's no bus stop. Right. Yeah. Good point. Just like with building the bike infrastructure ahead of time, have that transit plan done ahead of time. Yes, the, the numbers will be modest in the beginning, yeah. but you still got to do it. Because if you don't, to your point, people will be incentivized to use the car. Yes, they will. Yeah. yeah. The chicken and the egg thing, which mm -hmm. comes first. Yeah. <laughs> when it comes to transit, you got to build it. When it comes to the bikes, you got to build it. You can't expect that it'll just materialize out of thin air. So, and then on that side is the shopping center mm -hmm. I talked about. So, okay. you can see that's a five or ten minute walk. Yeah. Uh, and if you're having groceries uh, with a bike or something, it's, yeah. you know, it's easy to do. Yeah. There's a park, so all all in the neighborhood, it's yeah. all close by. Yeah, very convenient shopping center right here. Short bike ride away. Big car parking. Yeah, I see that, huge car parking. And a big car parking lot on the other side, so. Yeah. It's, this, this is suburbia. This neighborhood yeah. is, uh, oh, it's not really suburbia, but it's yeah. mainly <laughs> car infrastructure here. Yeah, well, it feels, it feels suburbia, <laughs> with the car orientation anyways. Yeah. And even though this housing seems to be more car oriented, just the amount of parking that's available, it's still, you've got good cycle infrastructure right here and you can easily get into town. Yeah, but what's so. lacking in this neighborhood is the cycling infrastructure on the street. In the street, This yeah. is good cycling inf infrastructure. Yeah. But getting there from your own home yeah. could be a, a challenge. Could be a challenge, yeah. You know, certainly if you're on that street right there, that doesn't look too bad. And there's a big, huge walkway there. But to your point, could be much better. Yeah, it could be much better yeah. regarding the cycling infrastructure. Yeah. OK, much, much better bridge, much more comfortable. Yes. Yeah. So much newer. So much that newer. Helps. Do more of this, less of our first bridge of yes. the day. <laughs> But just like where we started today, over the big canal. Over the big canal, yeah. Yeah. And you can see some sport recreational cyclists riding on the pathway down along the water. And we can see some more buildings in front of us. And this will be new development in 10, 15 years. Okay. So more housing. More housing. In 10 to 15 years. On the other side of yeah. the canal, but still close to the city center. Yeah. Close to the shopping mall. Yeah. And hopefully with good cycling infrastructure. Yeah. yeah. We're good going incentives. To, uh, yeah. Do a sharp ride here. Okay, let's do it. More office buildings over here.
There was a warning sign there mm -hmm. uh, for aggressive crows because it's breeding season. Ah, yes. So, yes. Watch out for the aggressive we'll crows. Watch, uh, yes. Yeah. I have my crow proof hat on. There we go. And again, access to low stress environment right along the waterway here. Obviously when this gets developed and you start seeing housing and community here, this will get more emphasized on being a uh, bicycle priority route. It's already quite comfortable other than the fact we have motor scooters on it. And it looks like mostly what we're seeing are people kind of getting a little recreation yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Enjoying nice. their weekend day. Weekend Enjoying day. the weather. Yeah. Going out. Yeah. A nice. Almost holidays. Route. Yeah. Almost holiday. Well, then we take the Daphne Schippersbrug yeah. back to the other side. Oh, yeah. And go. Uh, Go in your direction. Yeah, yeah. Got to get in Daphne Schiffer. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. That's, that's a classic. It's getting warm. Yep, that too. <laughs> <laughs> and you see some of the old structures here. Hanging on. <laughs> this was actually uh, made by someone, an elderly person as a hobby. Yeah. And uh, it was standing in his garden. Yeah. And then he said, well, I don't have a place for it anymore. So <laughs> now it's standing here. I hope it's temporary because it's not the best place for such a nice uh, yeah. Yeah. miniature. But... There, now you're framed by how big these barges are. Massive. Yeah, huge, yeah. So, and then you see the white bridge uh, in the back. Yep. And that's next to the bridge we were cycling on this morning. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, one, two, three, four yeah, a bridges, lot of bridges back. Yeah. A lot of bridges. Feels like we've been riding all day. Yeah. Yeah, wow. pretty much have been. We're almost. Yeah. Quite a few hours. Ah, just like that. More housing. More new housing. More new housing. And again, right here at the critical bridge over on that side, we see the school. We're going to be on that in just a bit. But yeah, to the whole point of this bridge is being able to connect this new I, community over. That's, I yeah. think there are some wind um, Connectors there. Yeah, I think catch, you're right. Catching wind for energy. Yeah, I think you're right. That's very cool. Interesting concept. This is all new too in the yep. last two years. Yeah, because this development was just sort of getting ready to break ground two years ago. So. Yeah, and because yes. of the new development, we have to make a small detour to get to the bridge. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Normally it won't be this much of a detour. Oh, they're even working today. Ah, yeah. Don't drop that bag on us. So 
So let's see if we can go in here, I think. Yep. Fantastic. Yeah, and uh, as we will see in just a moment when we get over the bridge, we've got this, that school right there and we have another school right here in this area. Let's see where we can go. Yeah. Up. We might have to wind around to get to that higher level. I think this is where the school is. Got a little playground here to the left. Oh, there's a ramp there we can use. Oh, yeah. Let's do some zigzagging. Yeah, there's a little, a little school. Okay, I'll time you. Race. <laughs> <laughs> And now we're on top of the highway. Yeah, so we are ten, on ten top. Lanes left here. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Oh, let's pause for just a second. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more yeah. extensively about that. So last year or two years ago, uh, we rode down and we checked out the new town center that's yep. down there. And so we have housing down there. We have businesses down there. But yeah, to your point, say that again. What are we on top of? On top of a highway, yeah. 12 lanes. Yeah. yeah, 12 lanes, national highway. National highway from Amsterdam yeah. to Maastricht in the south. Yeah. So, so it used to be just an exposed highway, yes. freeway. Yeah. The city, you uh, had Utrecht the, the said, canal. no, 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 let's put it, yeah. we don't want it here. Yeah, you had a new development here, but then mm -hmm. there was the canal yeah. and the highway. So you had two major barriers between yeah. the old city and all new development here. Yeah. So they tunneled in the highway built a nice park on top of it with a bike lane and all facilities. Yeah. And with the bridges, there, there are hardly any barriers anymore between the two parts of the, of the city. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we see behind you in that direction is just sort of a green open space and they've let it go, go, go wild. But then when we swing around this way, we see a series of sports fields uh, for the kids to be able to use. Um, and again, you know, that's because we've got the 12 lanes underneath. What a, you know, nice way to, you know, use this space. Yeah. And then right next to it, you're able to build dense housing and provide housing for more people. Yeah, and you can see the first building there is mm -hmm. a new school building. Behind that mm -hmm. is a big cinema. Uh, so they're all uh, everything you want and you need when you live here is, is yeah. right next to uh, the corner. And I see more cranes down there, so I know yeah. that there's more Still housing happening. Yeah, yeah. This is a development which started some 25 years ago. Yeah. And it's still not done. It's still over not done. Over there. Yeah. Over there. Back there. Back there. So yeah. Yeah. It will take some years before this is finished. Fantastic. And in about three minutes time, we're gonna be on a delightful bridge connecting us to the to city center city area. Center again. Yeah. yeah, let's do it. I love it. I keep pointing to our, the last time we pause at this, I, I tell people when they say, oh no, what are we gonna do with the freeway? And I'm like, yeah. bury the damn thing. Yeah, Utrecht did it. <laughs> yeah, Maastricht did it too. The same highway, they, yeah. they did the same thing. Yeah. You can see the, 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 the outlines of the entrance of the tunnel. Yeah. Very good. Behind that, there's uh, the, free, the highway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And again, we've seen it all this week. The wildflowers being allowed 
to grow wild. And you can just hear the birds, they're having a ball in there. It's attracting the insects. The insects oftentimes are attracting the birds. This is good stuff. Oh, wow. Nice a, mural. A new mural. This is cool. Brand new feet pod. Got your wayfinding to the Daphne Schirmer Bridge. A new cafe right here. And then boom, right here. Look at this. And you can just see that this is a valuable, valuable connector for families. And yeah, in more ways than one. I mean, literally, it takes <laughs> the kids to a school. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and you've got some playground and exercise equipment right here on the waterfront. This has got to just bring a smile to your face yeah, to see does. what Every your city. Time again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, just the novelty of having a signature bridge like this uh, that is world famous, but then you see you know, the development of a community like that on the other side and uh, it being a place where, you know, families can raise their kids and it's good stuff. You guys have a lot to be proud of here. Yeah. <laughs> and again, I'm gonna swing around here so we can get a couple different views of this school. We got this. We'll keep the camera pointed forward on the bike, obviously, but I want you to see both on this side, you've got the little basketball court. On that side, a little playground. And then you got the green space and you've got some kids playing right there. And you're looping around. This entire ramp is integrated into the actual structure of the building, the school itself. Absolutely fantastic. And again, more rain garden treatments right here. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so cool. You can't help but smile when you ride on <laughs> yeah. that, you know? Especially in this yeah. kind of weather. Yeah, yeah, this kind of weather. And I was on it the other day and the kids were, you know, there and, and coming out from school. And yeah, it's just so cool. And it, it kind of reinforces too for, for kids going to school there mm -hmm. that riding a bike is yeah. a normal activity. So not only do we get to school there, but they can just see a constant yeah. flow yeah. of People of all ages playing riding. outside, the only thing they see yeah. is people cycling yeah. over their school. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Very well done. 100%. No notes. <laughs> Very enjoyable. So if you have energies, uh, we can, when cycling to your apartment, see mm -hmm. one last new uh, redesign. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Since it's on the way, let's yeah. make it happen. First, we're gonna see one of the most popular swimming spots in town. Okay. I think it's busy uh, today. Should be. It's warm enough. Yeah. yeah. You can see many people in the park. It's warm enough that at least 50% of the people, maybe more, are actually in the shade, not in the sun. It's kind of warm, a little intense. Not as hot as a couple days ago. And again, I just love rolling through this path here. You got some of these old historic buildings all around here, as well as a couple new ones too. But yeah, but this one is preserved. But yeah, this one's preserved. It's over 100 years old. Yeah. And then we cross this the classic bridge. old bridge here. Well, it's, it's not, not that busy, not actually. Not that busy, yeah. yeah. I bet you it was a couple of days ago on yeah, the really I think hot so. day. Yeah, my son was swimming here with his friends also. <laughs> I've seen last year, this was just a complete sea of bikes. Yeah, yeah. With only just a small path yeah. going through it. Yeah. And for those of you who've watched my videos for years, you recognize that setting right there 
We posed for a group photo there on a study tour once. Oh, looks like we have more swimmers here. <laughs> Going right here. Uh, you can see here, Utrecht's working on a, a, a livable and attractive canal street. Ah, That's the yeah. street running right to the center. Yeah. And they've redesigned it. And uh, the first part is two-way mm -hmm. traffic. Mm -hmm. And then the second part is uh, uh, one-way traffic for cars. Yeah. So let's go and see. OK. Greenery's. It's not so big yeah. yet because yeah, yeah. it's all new, but so what they've did, they changed the road surface. Mm -hmm. uh, no more asphalt, only for cycling. They've put in speed bumps, more trees, more greenery between, mm -hmm. more bike parking, by their footpaths, so uh, slow down uh, traffic from 50 to 30. Right. And from that intersection on, it's one way traffic. Got it. And that's kind of the point, right? Is we see. The car is coming down. Yeah. I think that this was in the works when you and I were yeah, doing this two was. years ago. We were talking about this transformation coming together. And you can kind of see this is a busy street area. Yeah, it's two a shopping street, ago. so it's a busy street. Yeah. Two years ago, we were looking at this and we were wondering what this would be like. And uh, you know, I, I get the sense that the drivers are getting the point from all of the uh, traffic calming elements that have been put into place. But I did see a little bit of like, you know, consternation in a couple of the driver's eyes of feeling like, you know, they're having to navigate through a bit of a maze. And uh, yeah, I don't know that I'd want to drive through here a whole lot as a driver. I, you know, it feels fine for us riding and no stress on the face of the uh, other people we're seeing riding in this area. Yeah. Okay, so this has been in place for how long now? Uh, it's open only one or two months ago, so okay. a lot of people have to find their way, navigate the new situation. Yeah. So it's still not perfect, I think, but... So what do you think? It's an improvement, mm -hmm. but it's still, uh, it's still a very busy street with yeah. many cars, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's still, but it's still way too better many, than it was. Still too many cars, yeah. yeah, for sure. Too many cars. Ironically, the portion of it where it was two-way was very, very calm. Yeah. 
we didn't see we didn't see any cars. No, but that's on, not where the shops are. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so it was only in the one-way section yeah. where we saw the traffic. Um, very, very interesting, very interesting. I wonder too whether, you know, it's only been a couple of months, whether over time driver behavior changes and they're just like, no, that's a pain to drive there. Let's just take transit yeah. or let's just ride our bike or whatever, yeah. So we go left there. Okay. Look at that mural. Oh, yeah. So there's murals about the first article of our constitution. Ah, okay. There you go. All who are in the Netherlands will be treated similarly, and there won't be discrimination because of religion, political will, or... Uh, yeah. So, it's a nice mural. Yeah. Important one. An important mural. Okay, back under the train lines. And it's cool down here. Yeah. And more nice flowers. Just a nice touch, a little bit of color. Makes you feel like you're in a Civilized city. And lots of people by the water here. Yeah. Yeah, it's great to see everybody out enjoying it. The crane, uh, the old city crane Casper was talking about, mm -hmm. is uh, over next to the bridge there. So mm -hmm. uh, you'll see it in the coming days, I think. Oh, okay, okay. Turn. Yeah, we can get squeezed through here. Yeah. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed part two of my ride around Utrecht with Herbs. And if you did, please hey, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, be honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Just click on that subscription button down below and ring that notifications bell. And if you are enjoying this content here on the Active Towns channel, please consider supporting my efforts. It's easy to do. Just head on over to activetowns.org and click on that support button. And as a reminder, you will get to see Hebt once again when we uh, meet up to cover the Fitzamach program, uh, which is that fantastic program in part one that we had talked about. Uh, well, until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. Oh, and hang in there because we do have the final conclusion in just a moment. All right, we are here. Yes. Woohoo. Let's roll up on here and we'll just uh, close out our video. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, this you're has welcome. Been great. Yeah. It's a nice ride. Yeah.
yeah. I've seen a lot. We saw again. a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah, again, again. This is great. Um, any final thoughts you'd like to leave uh, the audience with, based on what we saw today, and you know the transformations that we've seen in the last two years here in Utrecht? Well, if you see the transformation in the last two years, uh, some parts are already finished, mm -hmm. but some parts are not finished yet. Yeah. And I think you have to be patient. Uh, yeah. Transformations take time. Yeah. But uh, as you can see, when they're finished, it's for the good. Yeah. So yeah. don't expect uh, direct results. Or, um, be patient. And yeah. Well, you see uh, what happens then. Fantastic. Well, again, thank you so very much. Be sure to follow on social media. You are on X slash Twitter. What else? Uh, threads. Threads. Yes. Uh, Fantastic. All. All of them. Uh, yeah. Instagram. Yeah. Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Again, high five. Boom. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me a Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much. Thank you.